Hey everybody, it's Jerry Survivor. I want to do an example of map reading from start to finish. So if you want to uh, follow along, you'll need a protractor, which will look like this. Um, a compass. I have a Lanzetta compass. And then some kind of a topographic map. There's all kinds from out there. But this is the kind that uh, I'll be using for this example. Now, when you're using a map and compass, you need to be aware that, the, uh, that there's variation between what your compass says versus what you read off your map. And Wikipedia talks about magnetic declination or magnetic variation. Um, I'll spare you what they tell you and just say this. What this basically means to the guy on the ground of a map and compass is that the needle on the map, no, I'm sorry, needle on the compass doesn't necessarily point to north on the map. There could be anywhere from zero to 20 degrees difference, and that's called magnetic variation and magnetic declination. Um, when you're reading uh, from a compass, it's called magnetic. So if I pick up my compass here and I read an azimuth off the dial, that is a magnetic uh, direction. So if I read it off, I read an azimuth off the map, that's called uh, grid. So grid, magnetic, that's important. So if I say, uh, I, uh, let's say, uh, I give you a direction of 50 degrees magnetic. I'm talking about something that I've read off the compass. This means I was out in the field, I shot an azimuth off my compass, and uh, that's what you'll be using. And if you want to take uh, an azimuth off the map using your uh, protractor, and we'll do this, um, what that means is that I read it here, and if I have 50 degrees on here, it's not going to be equal to 50 degrees up on, on this here. So, um, we'll uh, do a couple examples and I'll show you how to, uh, to convert so that they, they all balance out. That means that when I shoot um, uh, a direction off my map, you will know exactly how to put the uh, information, the correct information, on the compass so that you're not going to get lost. Okay, let's get started. So the first question is, how do we determine what is our magnetic declination? On the map that you're using, there should be a small key, looks like this, that's going to tell you what your declination is. Let me uh, zoom the camera in a little bit. All right, now if we take a look here, this is up in Maine, you can see that the grid north is, is here. Magnetic north is to the left or west of grid north. And the, it's 18 degrees. So well, how, we, how we read this is it's 18 degrees westerly. Um, so we have a magnetic, again, that's, that's to the left or west of grid north. And now we're going to draw, we'll actually take a, a reading off the map, and then I'll show you a, a quick way to translate that information over to magnetic. So I'm going to put you... Okay, so... Let's say we're, in, we're, hill, we're on a hilltop here on Spruce Mountain, and we want to read an azimuth up to uh, Ragged, which is up here. Uh, so, from, from Spruce to Ragged. So what I do is I take my protractor or any straight edge, and I'm just going to draw a line between the two points. So. All right, now I have a line. Now what I'm going to do is take my protractor, and if you look at it, you can see that it's zero, goes in a circle on the inner scale, up to 360 degrees. So I'm going to put that center point, and that's me, as straight up and down on the map as I can possibly get it. Okay, so there I am. And that's pretty straight up and down. It's not going to be critical for this example, but when you're doing it in live and field, you need to be as accurate as possible. So I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see now what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow from here to here, and if I look pretty, if I look carefully, I can see that that's about 32, 33. I'll call that 33 degrees uh, grid. So I'm going to. Uh, so now the trick is, now what I have to do is take and put this on the compass. If I'm going to walk from here to here, 
in a straight line, straight as I can, I need to put that on my compass. So now we know that it's 33 degrees grid. How do we translate that over? All right. Okay, so here we go with our example. Uh, what I've done here is I've transposed the um, magnetic and grid north uh, graphic onto this piece of paper with 18 degrees because that's what the difference between magnetic north and grid north on the map is. So I, again what they're saying is if I put uh, an azimuth of zero degrees on my compass it's going to be pointing in the wrong direction. It's not going to line up with grid north. So here's what we do. I'm just going to draw an arbitrary angle here. It's at 90 degrees, but we're going to call it 33 degrees. So what is it that we do know? We know that the angle on the map was 33 degrees. We know this because we measured it ourselves. So I'm going to put 33 degrees on the map. What we don't know is what is our magnetic reading going to be? So that is the question mark. Okay. Well, how do we figure that out? That's a degree mark, not a zero, by the way. So, we know, if we look here, we can see the 33 degrees on grid. In order to get magnetic here, we're going to have to add. We're going to have to put. So, 33 plus 18. That's 11, 3, 4, 51 degrees. So that's 51 degrees magnetic, 33 degrees grid, plus the 18 degree declination gives us our 51 degrees magnetic. So now what I would do is take my trusty compass, get it out here, oops, not too much there. So there's north, and now I'm going to keep going until I can find my 51 degrees. The black index line here will have to be on top of 51 in order for me to, let me get that out of the way there. And we're reading off the inner scale of the compass. So. There's 50 degrees straight up and down. The camera angle may have it just a little bit off, but I'm looking at it straight down. There's 50, 51 degrees right there. So that's what I do. I now have the information on the compass that I need in order to follow the same um, angle on the map. And basically that's all there is to it. I'll do a couple of examples uh, on the paper so that you can see. Uh, how to do it. It's really fairly simple once you get the hang of it. So let's do that.